let's come back <clears throat> and uh, study what is actually in the enzyme catalysis concept. So till now we have been studying heterogeneous catalysis, homogeneous catalysis and all these. So when I have to come back to enzyme catalysis, first let us learn the definition of an enzyme. So when I have to write the definition of enzyme, so I'll start like this. So enzymes are uh, produced or they are biological catalysts. First important thing is that. So enzymes are biological catalysts. When I say that means they're produced by the living organism. So let us add all these words and write. Enzymes are biological catalysts. So when I say this word, that means they're produced by living organisms. Okay. Produced by living organisms. So why are these producing, why are the living organisms producing uh, by cat enzymes to catalyze biochemical reactions, simple isn't it, the reactions which happen in the body. So to catalyze those reactions, they are going to produce these enzymes so by living organisms to catalyze biochemical reactions. So when I have to speak chemically, if I have to say what are enzymes, somebody asked me uh, what, what on what category uh, or class they come. So I'll say chemically enzymes are proteins. So I'm going to write that word here. Chemically enzymes are proteins. Okay. Now when I have to see the enzyme. Uh, mechanism how is act, what is actually happening in the enzyme how are the products from let us come back and learn the mechanism of enzyme catalysis so when I have to speak about the mechanism of enzyme catalysis first uh, basically it's a lock and key model we're going to speak about that so whenever I have to study first most important thing there are three ways first write the statement next draw the diagram right if you want to write in words that also will be fine so when, uh, this for the enzyme catalysis thing first important thing you have to remember is every enzyme has certain amount of active site right active sites this is where your substrate is going to link here this active site groups contains an amine groups, uh, carboxylic groups, hydroxyl groups in them. So what happens is in step 1 your enzyme with this active site is going to combine with the substrate. So after combining it's going to form a complex called enzyme substrate complex. So first step what do I write? I am going to write. Okay let us write here. First step is binding of enzyme plus substrate where is it binding at the active site so at active site this is over after this binds what's going to happen it's going to form enzyme substrate complex this is step one in the step two if i have to say then yeah <clears throat> this enzyme substrate prod is in uh, complex <coughs> formation okay, let us not write here enzyme substrate complex is going to break up into enzyme and product your enzyme is out so the second step is formation of formation of products and enzyme is released okay let us write draw this uh, show them uh, diagrammatically so now i said okay let me take this part here i want the board so that so first is your enzyme your enzyme as i said it has certain active sites present where the substrate is going to attack now this every enzyme is specific to the substrate so now this substrate you're going to draw exactly in this way only because that has to match isn't it which has that shape which is going to fit into that shape that only you're going to draw so now this particular thing this is like this so this is again like this and this side you're going to draw exactly the same way so now i'm going to write this is enzyme this is your active site this is your substrate done so once they combine what do they form they're going to form enzyme substrate complex how does this look no i'm not so good uh, i'm just drawing it like this yeah now fix this substrate in this so it's going to go and fix perfectly like this and the whole active site is occupied 
so the site also is occupied now bind it yes now this is called enzyme substrate complex done once this is formed after that this enzyme substrate complex further breaks up and forms enzyme and product so your this is your enzyme again yes enzyme is out and your products so two uh, things you know this one side and one side it breaks up into exactly try to draw if you want you can draw the on this diagram here also this option just we did it isn't it so this is your this is one product suppose i'm drawing two so this is one product so these are products and this is your enzyme this is it. This is what you have done. 